Hello good people and welcome to Excel Hacks for Productivity. One trick, two minutes to learn, I was saved every day. In this short video, we'll learn how to sum values between two dates in Excel. If you have data that contains a date column and a values column or numbers column, and you want to quickly sum up total sales or total amounts between two dates, a start date and an end date. You can use Excel's sum product function. Now, what sum product does is it compares an array to a given criteria, returns true or false if the criteria is met, and then it will multiply by a given number. Let me break it down. So we begin with another open bracket and then we select the date range here. So against these dates, we are checking if any of these dates is greater than or equal to the start date. This is our first array. So for any date that is greater than or equal to the start date, it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. So as an example, this one is greater than, so it's going to return true. If you do a preview of the answers, you are going to get a series of trues and falses. Now, it's based on this logic that we are going to build our formula. So this is the first set. I'll close this bracket and multiply by the second test, where I go into the dates again select the range this time around i'm testing if any of these dates is less than or equal to the cutoff date so effectively this will now host the beginning and then the end dates and return only dates that fall within this criteria so i'll close my bracket for these two sets and the final thing i will do is multiply this by the range of numbers Okay, and then I'll close my final bracket. So we test against start dates, we test dates against end dates, and then we multiply by the numbers. So we press enter, and then we get 1842. Let's confirm this. So to do this, we just step in the start date, go to date, then we go to date filters, and you choose between. So we are basically returning dates between 1st January 2010 and 31st December 2012. You type it the same way, you type the date the same way it appears on your computer and I click OK. So when I sum these, I get 1842. Now it must be said that there's an alternative formula using some if or some ifs. But if you don't have a large data set, some product is a very handy formula. Please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more of these short videos, you can send add to this WhatsApp number. We send videos directly to you on Mondays and Fridays. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Excel Hacks for Productivity. Please click subscribe for notification of new videos. Or give us a like on our Facebook page. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.